Hello everyone, my name is Mark Hanchett, founder and CEO here at Atlas Motor Vehicles. I'm Preston, design engineer here. Today we're going to talk about the design for the exterior for the XT prototype. Now, you notice it looks a lot different than what we've done in the past. We've actually done four separate designs that we've shown publicly. Each one of those is an iteration based on customer input. What you like, what you don't like, what we need to change, where the market's going, where we think people are interested. And every time we do this, it's always an improvement from the last one. So. Let's talk about the front of this actually in the, the downward sloping kind of hood here. You want to dig through that a little yeah. bit? So to start off, we don't have um, a large engine bay like your typical truck would for the big engine. And so we've been able to downsize that and have a downward facing hood that increases aerodynamics and also increases visibility because you don't have this long protruding hood. We still have a ton of room in the front. In fact, the largest front volume of any electric pickup truck that's either on the market today or coming in the next two years that we've uh, seen mm -hmm. by a significant margin. I think almost 25 to 30 percent more yeah. front volume than the current largest one that's out there. Um, now on the front of this, right, everyone noticed that we changed the headlight design from what the last render was. This is actually a little bit of a throwback to the original design where we had pods mm -hmm. inside there. Um, now this headlight design has DRLs, which are the rings, correct, that are around yep. here as well as up here. Right. And of course this doubles as a turn signal mm -hmm. and it can flash different color lights if we need to for different applications, different use cases. Yeah, they can also uh, be dimmable, they can mm -hmm. be automatically adjusted. So say you're coming up on a low sedan that you're pulling up behind. Everyone hates getting flashed and driving in front of a large truck at night. Right. So we'll be able to dim those lights for pedestrians, for other drivers. We want to make this a nice, um, safe vehicle for the road for everybody. And it, on top of that, we think active headlight management. So mm -hmm. when you think about driving down a freeway, you want to keep your brights on. Maybe you want to shine to the right, even though you have oncoming traffic. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at active um, headlight management or active light management where maybe one side turns off right, you're focused on one direction, keep that dim over there so we don't blind an oncoming driver or an oncoming autonomous vehicle. Right. Um, now, as we move back around here, we'll start sort of the bottom, I guess, and work our way up. So first thing is everybody noticed big tires, big truck. We love 37 inch tires. We'd love them to be bigger in certain applications, <laughs> um, but these will be scaled. So basically this is for the concept of the prototype truck. This would be kind of that off-road, high ground clearance, big tire, big meaty capability. Mm -hmm. But of course these will come back down to a 31 inch tire for a work truck application. This will sit lower, of course, when that happens and the dynamics of the system will adjust. Mm -hmm. um, but then do you want to talk about the mirror system here? So digital mirrors, yeah. um, camera systems inside the vehicle. Yeah, so we're using a digital mirror system here. So when the vehicle is off, these will sit totally flush. Uh, and then when the vehicle is in use, they extend out. This also doubles as your turn signal. Um, and then they, of course, extend out for tow mode for when you're pulling a trailer or hauling something else. Um, and as far as like inclement weather for like snow, ice, these will also have heating elements inside of them to make sure that this mechanism can always move in all environments. So it doesn't build up in ice, you can always see, right? And yeah, that's a good mm -hmm. point. When this, we would talk about door handles and mm -hmm. the features here, right? The ability to like grab this thing and pull on it. Right. That was really intended to fix that situation where, I mean, I grew up in Northern Michigan. I remember mm -hmm. frost sort of on the doors, ice on the doors right after it sort of rains overnight and then it freezes sometime in the middle mm -hmm. of the night, you got to rip that thing open. Same oh, yeah. thing is applicable to the mirrors. They're going to sit flush. They got to be able to heat up and pop out mm -hmm. so they become usable. Exactly. So door handles here again, nice big grip here, right? It's electronic. You can grab mm -hmm. it, pull it, open the door, right? Yep. Um, but you can grab the thing and pull it with gloves, with, you know, mittens and things like that. No mm -hmm. fancy pop out handles that are going to break, right? It's a very yeah. basic, very straightforward approach. In fact, no moving mechanisms either, right? Um, which I think is super important, right? Door handles are always the thing that break. It's always the thing that like you pull too hard on, right? And it snaps. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the, the sort of steps on the bottom here. Um, why those are important, why we went this particular approach. Yeah, so these steps aren't just uh, an add-on that's just bolted onto the truck. This is actually integrated into the platform. So this is built into the structure of the platform um, with the battery pack and everything. And it also extends across the entire bottom uh, typically on a truck, if you're trying to work on the front or loading something on top or in the bed, you know you have these steps that kind of limit where you can step and you're always mm -hmm. stepping across, doing something awkward, stepping on the tires. So we wanted to extend this step all the way across. So you can actually walk, if you include the tires, to the bed across this entire truck for mounting, for working, for anything. And that's super important when you're trying to access stuff that's inside, right? Maybe stuff if you put a roof rack or something on top. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
and maybe you have something else that's on the side here, like a, a tool rack or something like that, you want to be able to step up and get high. Now, yep. you'll notice the truck's sitting high right now. That's because the back end is actually jacked up. It's sitting on jack stands. You guys are doing some work underneath there, some electronics work, some mechanical work underneath there. So the rear end sits a little bit high. The bed won't be taller than Mark. Um, <laughs> but uh, it, it was super important that we built functionality into this particular system. So as we kind of walk back here, you mentioned you can walk from end to end with the truck. Mm -hmm. Rear bumper in the back here, right? Steps all the way around. You can actually walk from the front corner all the way around the truck if yeah. you really wanted to, um, which is super cool. Now in the bed, um, tow hook locations, you see them in the bed floor there. Uh, you don't see the power outlets in the bed there, but it'll have 120, 240 volt, as well as USB 5 volt and uh, compressed air access yeah. in the bed. So run all of your tools. You could actually run a welder out of the back and another welder out of the front at exactly the same time. Mm -hmm. Very useful from a work truck perspective. All of the beds will be sprayed with bed liner. Um, so durability is a big thing for us, right? We want to have that right out the gate, right out the door. Right. Now the taillights are a little bit unique too in mm -hmm. terms of like how we took that approach and how we think of that application going forward. Yeah, so similar to the headlights, they're adjustable depending on um, work case. So they can either be red or amber, like your typical lights for brake lights, turn signals, but they can also flash various color colors, like say for emergency situations, you know, you have like your red, blue, yellow, um, or red, blue, white. Um, also right here, you'll notice we have uh, this light here, which is a projector bulb, just like in the front. It's actually the same assembly. So we cut down on tooling costs, manufacturing costs, keep that the same. Mm -hmm. um, and that's for backing up in bright situations. If you're backing up into a trailer at night, um, all these different work cases where you need more light behind you than Right, so it'll have that typical white ring, right, mm -hmm. in reverse, but then if you push a button on the center console, you could actually project out to the rear. So right. we think, like you mentioned, trailers or dark areas, dark situation, or even working back here, maybe you want to see behind mm -hmm. the truck, right? We can actually right. project light back there. So those are some of the unique features of the, the Atlas XT from a design perspective. And of course, this is the first concept vehicle. It's always going to improve and get better from here. So as we march towards production and start shipping these vehicles at the end of 2022, look for a very similar concept from a vehicle perspective, but of course, it's only gonna get better from here. We'll get more efficient in space. We'll get more efficient from a design perspective. Mm -hmm. We'll make minor adjustments for ergonomics. Everything's gonna get better from here. And that's the XT pickup truck design. Thank you.